AT&T Field Pass, giving fans a look at Florida State quarterback James Blattman is going to make his first start, Coach. He's the first true freshman quarterback to start for Florida State in 26, 32 years. Man, there right. hasn't been a wow. true freshman quarterback start for Florida State in 32 years. It's amazing. And remember, yeah. Jimbo Fisher has had a little bit more time to get this young freshman ready, find out what he likes, find out what he's not comfortable with, to be able to get him a game plan that he can go out and execute. That 185 is not true. What they haven't found about what he likes is they haven't found the right food. My man weighs 169. Wow. Right yeah. no, uh, Jimbo looks not like six five. Yeah, looks like 169. Uh, Jimbo says he's not worried about him taking a hint. Played in high school football in Florida, tough guy. That NC State defensive line may test that. Yes, sure. They will test it. They, they, got, they got a few guys that can rush the quarterback. Mr. Gerald, Mississippi State's quarterback is 6'5", 230. Right. Wow. Uh, Florida State playing for the first time since losing to Alabama as we count down to kickoff. Brought to you by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Rocky Boyman with the head Seminole, Jimbo Fisher. Coach is finally here. After 21 days, you're going to get to finally play a football game. What's been the biggest challenge for both the players and coaches with this long of a layoff? In my opinion, getting guys to practice with a purpose. You practice, but when you don't see a game in the, for, in the, in the future right there very significantly right in front of you, sometimes you practice, but is there a tremendous amount of attention to detail, and all of a sudden you start practicing a bad habit. You know what I'm saying? And making sure, and, it, and it's not drastic, it just gradually starts to slip and you have to really stay on top. So some of the hardest coaching we've ever had to do has been these three weeks to make sure we could really stay focused on everything at hand. So NC State rolls into town, a tremendous front four. You have a freshman quarterback making his first start. What are some ways you can help him out and help your offense out there tomorrow? Well, I think you have to be able to run the football, be able to lean on the other guys around them. They have to play well, but at the same time, not be one dimensional. You cannot go in there and say, well, we're going to run it and protect him. And all of a sudden, they just swarm on you and the momentum of the game change. You have to let him play, but you have to teach him to be smart with the football, but be aggressive and take educated, take educated chances about where you want to be. And then if you see a play, trust yourself and make it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Jimbo and Rocky, thank you. This is the Three Monkeys, the New York City bar affiliated with Florida State. You know what they've offered? For the fans who came to game day, got the wristband, they can go back to Three Monkeys and drink for free. Hey, hey, the hey there we go. That's How about it? it? How about that? That's how you Great roll deal. there, Elsa. Yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can drink for free anyway, Coach. Well, no. here's the question, though. Will Florida State fans need a little strong beverage to get through this one today? I, I, I take Derwin James in the defense. We keep talking so much about what are they going to do with a quarterback. One thing we can count on is that defense. Charles Kelly, the only time we saw him was against Alabama, and they dominated the line of scrimmage, and Derwin James around playing at linebacker, safety, nickelback, you, you name it and he'll be very, very active today. Wide receiver on Tate, and Blackman's going to have to find guys that he can count on to get yeah. some easy completions, got to get some confidence. Reese and Kirk can uh, speak to this, too. Anytime you have a true freshman quarterback, a young quarterback with limited experience, the guys around him, they must elevate their game. And a guy like Tate, he may have to make some tough catches. The balls may not be on the money, but you're going to have to elevate your game to give your quarterback some confidence. But that defensive line, though, that Jack West Patrick will be running into, they're all seniors. They're all yep. experienced uh, draft pick kind of guys for NC State. Yeah, and they are going to have to be physical. I loved what Jimbo Fisher just said there with Rocky Boyman about, listen, we're not going to pull our horns in and just say run, run, run with Cam Akers and, and, and with what they want to do Patrick. with uh, Patrick. Yep. He's saying, listen, we're going to take our shots. Yeah, we're, we're not, we're not going to be intimidated by NC State, and I think that's smart. I tell you, well, I'm really concerned about Blackman from the standpoint that we've seen this offensive line have breakdowns before, and obviously that's why DeAndre Francois a year ago coming to this season was the toughest pound for pound player I saw because he would get just pummeled week in and week out. I hope they're able to protect Blackman because this guy looks like Jimmy J.J. Walker in a football uniform. Oh, man. <laughs> Jalen Samuel. That's on my. There's one. Of, there's one of the defensive linemen we've been talking about: Contavious Street, Bradley Chubb. They're guys who can wreak havoc, and they, they want to prove themselves after that opening loss to South Carolina. And we've watched these guys play for the last couple years, and there've been games where they've taken the line of scrimmage over. They are. They have size, but they also have quickness, and that's what would be a concern. For and Black ever Black. since I played, North Carolina State has always given Florida State a battle. Yeah. North Carolina State's Just one, one of those team. games. One yeah. Those games. I think Florida State breaks that streak today. 192 passes without a pick. Will they get one? I think they'll get one. Get one? Yeah. I mean, I, I like Finley. I, I don't do get too. me wrong, but I, I just think that they'll be. They'll. I think they're rallying around 
people doubting them. I think they're anxious to go out and play today. Seminoles better be very careful.